Residents in the areas of Kanongo, Bushenyi and other parts around the Buindi National Game Park have reported to the Minister for Wildlife, Honorable Maria Mutagamba, the increasing death in their areas arising from the animals that loiter all over the places, causing death and other threats on human beings. Human is not there. Can you imagine, Minister, you have not dug for several times, but for me, I've ever been there, sleeping, walking up in the night, you find them in the night watching. Then in the night they are beaten by these rangers. Eh? Now, madam, but sometimes even I was shocked, I wanted to get an AK, but, but madam, we are requesting you, use that approach, introduce it, if possible, bring the bill in the parliament. I know every person from Nyowa, from where, who are disturbed, they are going to support it. We pass it, and people benefit from the national park, and also the respect animals, and also in turn, these animals also will benefit Uganda. Over 10 people are said to have died as a result of these animals from the park, but the minister says they are in preparations to fence the game park. Uh, about protecting and uh, putting the fence, yes, the government has got a wish to keep the fence, to put the fences around the protected area. They talked about the electrical fence that has been found very expensive. And looking at the meager resources that we have, it is really difficult. We even went ahead to propose the chain links, as you've heard, some of the chain links were delivered. But I think wisdom came that they actually not effective because chain links and narrow fat will just walk through. Residents complain of being affected by the animals, yet they do not directly benefit out of it. According to the Wildlife Act, nearby residents are entitled to 20% of the resources collected to which residents say they never receive. Resources from revenue sharing, even when they say, okay, the, what will be shared is 200 million. The parishes are many. When they start now dividing it, the amount is so small. And we want to emphasize that it should be on top of the commitments of government and local government for delivering of social services. But in the report we have produced, you see that some of this money has been used to build schools, to provide services, which are services that are already des designated for other ag government agencies to offer. So it becomes a substitution, and therefore it compromises the benefit of the community. For Record TV, Abdel Latif Mukasa in Kampala.